this is a treat for um, the Southern Star podcast because we're now live in the home of Olympic gold medalist Fintan McCarthy. We're joined by his parents, Tom and Sue, his brother Jake and sister Caitlin. Um, first off, Tom, how do you feel? Fintan is an uh, Olympic champion, is a gold medalist? Elated, I'm delighted for them. Over the moon, absolutely over the moon. So talk me through the early hours of this morning, watching that Olympic final in Tokyo unfold. What were your nerves like beforehand? Uh, in pieces. We were we were all kind of walking around the house, really not knowing what we, any of us yeah, were I doing. Was doing. Jumping jacks. Mm. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> the energy was all over the place. I mean, in fact, we've been like that for the last. Well, I have anyway for the last mm. couple of days. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, and we we actually sorry to interrupt. We. Uh, yeah. We recorded Love Island as well, you know, so we were able to watch that kind of around 10, 10 or 11 o'clock, you know, to keep us at bay for an hour. Yeah. Yeah. We were very invested in it this year, so. Yeah. Yeah. Just on Love Island for a second, just, just, just digressing. It's getting very interesting in Love Island. It certainly right? is. Yeah, yeah Cast and War is going on at the moment, you know. It's, yeah. There's some big stuff, big drama yeah. at the moment, so we're kind of, you know, we're having a debrief every night and... Yeah. And figuring out who's gonna um, stay loyal and who isn't, you know. Yeah, and then obviously, we just switch off Love Island at some point, and we have to watch the, the yeah, audience. We have exactly. to watch yeah. Finton and Paul do what they did. Sue, so when did you hear from Finton last in the last couple of days? Let's say before the final itself. What was the last exchange you had with him? Um, we spoke to him yesterday before the race, didn't mm-hmm. we? Mm-hmm. Um, and he was. He was pretty calm, yeah. amazingly calm. We, could, we yeah. were we were in pieces, and he was like, he was in the zone. That's yeah, yeah, mm. he was. And Caitlin, you were doing jumping jacks last yeah. night. Was that just an excitement or anticipation, or is that how you deal with nerves? Yeah, it's just it's just crazy because you, there's nothing you can do. So you're just watching it, being like, oh god, this is it, this is it. But you can't do anything. So, yeah, my thing is just jumping jacks, get the energy out somehow, <laughs> distract myself. <laughs> Um, mm. There was so much pressure and expectation on Fintan and Paul's shoulders. Even before this final, they went down to Tokyo as as the favourites for gold. They went out as world champions. They went out as European champions. Yeah. But how they handled that pressure and expectation, it's a testament to the two men in that boat. Um, talk to us a bit about, about Fintan, how, how he deals with pressure and how he didn't let that pressure affect him. Um, I, I think that, that they've be, Finn particularly has become adept at dislocating himself from the expectation of focusing on what he can manage and um, to some extent control. Um, you know, he focuses into the training at a level that removes any doubt from his mind of what they're capable of achieving and moving mm-hmm. the boat. And once they have, or he has that, then the rest of it is secondary. It's like the confidence of knowing yeah. what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and knowing that he can do it. If that yeah. makes yeah. sense. Yeah. And have you, have you noticed, Sue, I suppose, in the last 18 to 24 months, that Finton's confidence, like he's got more confident in, in, in himself. Yeah. Obviously, he got in the boat yeah. with Paul in 2019. Yeah. But since then, he, like he was telling me before, he almost felt surreal to be in that boat. But yeah. now he knows yeah. that he deserves to be in that boat. Have you seen yes. that, that, that change in Finton over the, the last couple yeah. of years? Yeah, I think there was a point, I and I can't remember, we were talking about this last night, there was a point, and I can't remember actually when that point was. But Lint, I think it was the world's world. It might have been in, yeah. in Linz. Yeah, um, 2019. That he, he just kind of almost changed overnight. He was he was like, he, was, he got into that zone, and he knew he was good, and he knew that he was mm. making a difference. And um, yeah, and I think he started believing that that he was he he had deserved that place. Well, the yeah. results confirmed it. And once <laughs> Finney's very um, pragmatic and practically minded, so you can talk about everything forever. But the actual result of having those wins, that first win in Linz, it's a confirmation. And as soon as he had that realization, that was it. Um, you know. And Jake, you were telling me before, and we had a piece in the Southern Star lately about. Fintan's trajectory, like he's been on an upward curve, um, and it all led to this one race, this one moment in Tokyo. Mm. Everything came down mm. to the seven minutes on the on this, the, the, the Sea Forest Waterway. Watching that race in the early hours of this morning, as a, as a rower yourself, how do you think they rode? Do you think that, did, do you think the they, they obviously won the race, but the race mm. itself? What were your thoughts as it was unfolding, and with the Germans putting it up to them so much? Yeah, I thought first off, I thought the Germans um, were rowing a lot better. Um, this regatta than before and they've obviously gained some extra speed so um, you were a bit a little bit anxious about that but um, yeah I think the guys they're so kind of powerful and stuff and obviously it, it moves the boat they're 
I think there are probably still a couple areas there they can sharpen up in little aspects of their surgery. <laughs> um, you know, they have this weird thing where they take their thumbs off the uh, the end of the oars, you know, and hold it like like they're grabbing something. Like it, you you can kind of adjust the oar inboard if they want to, you know, do that kind of thing. So may, I don't know, maybe it works for them, but. So I don't if, like doing that anyway. Even though fainted and part of it at home and gold, you're taking such room for improvement. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so, yeah, they could be a bit smoother. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and watching that, when the Germans did put it up to them, and they really did, even in, yeah. in, the, in the last quarter, what do you think was the difference between Paul and Fintan pushing on and just holding off that German surge? What was what, sorry? What, was, what was the difference? What did Paul and Fintan have that held off the Germans? Maybe ignorance to the pain that they're feeling or something. <laughs> Um, guts, sheer guts. <laughs> yeah, like I think, I don't know, maybe they just executed it just right, you know, because it almost looked like the Germans are coming back again, you know, and then mm. they mm. went that extra way. Um, mm. But yeah, maybe a little bit of extra ignorance <laughs> to the pain. Like, Tom, how many times have you watched that race since this morning? Um, twice now, I think, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. yeah, 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 but I'm going to watch it we'll a lot probably more. watch it a hundred times. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's going to be on cycle repeat. <laughs> it's more, um, it's more impressive, I have to say. We just watched it as you, as you turned up. It's a bit easier yeah, to watch it. Yeah. It is. Yeah. And also, actually, recognising how tough the Germans actually made it. I mean, they were coming back yeah. again at the 1200, again at the 14, 15. Yeah. You know, they really had an amazing race. Um, yeah. It I, was, yeah. I messaged uh, Jason, one of the guys from the boat, uh, this morning, you know, because I've raced him before and we, we'd talk sometimes just briefly. Uh, congratulating each other and stuff and um yeah i just said congrats you know and i said you're rowing a bit better as well you know so <laughs> it's good to see that <laughs> he replied and he was like oh yeah um hope you enjoyed it but obviously it was a bit more tense for us yeah. watching it this yeah. time yeah. Yeah. i kind of added to the excitement yeah. so. and obviously yeah. you all enjoyed it and jake you were watching the replay when i just came in mm. there and it was the moment after the race you could see Finton raising his yeah. hands as like yeah. we, we've done it yeah. Like, yeah that was a very special moment yeah yeah, yeah like she kind of lit something inside of me watching, you know, yeah. just so many emotions going through, especially yeah. just yeah. This, the celebration, you know, the passion that, yeah. Yeah, that he showed, like, it was just It's like all the insane. four years come out yeah. in that moment, yeah. you yeah. know, yeah. all yeah. the <laughs> preparation. Yeah. Uh, and even for you, Caitlin, to see one of your big brothers on such an international and global stage and achieve what he has achieved, like, what's that like for you? Yeah, it's crazy, obviously, because I'm not a rower, it's kind of different, I have a different perspective on it, but yeah, I think it's just, it's motivating for me, because it's like, we've all grown up in the same place, and he's doing that, so, you know, there's no limits on what you can do if you put your mind to it, so yeah. And they put their mind to it, and they're, they're bringing home gold, and Jake, you can appreciate more than any one of us here, what goes in to get in mm -hmm. that boat in the first place, and then mm -hmm. achieving what they have. Talk to us a small bit about to the war, I suppose about sacrifices, but the, the training, like how much has gone into this boat to take it to this level? Yeah, I guess, you know, just an insane amount of work, really. Like, I'd probably say that, you know, they or the group train probably harder than any other country, and that's kind of one of the reasons why they've come out on top, you know. Um, like I said, they're kind of, like I said last night, Dominic kind of, drives everyone on he doesn't really know what rest he doesn't really know what the word rest really is but, um no he's great at the same time you know he can we can say look here we're absolutely shattered and he'll he'll listen to us you know um no matter what so that's really important as well you know that he's kind of li he listens to you as well you know and he'd um give you a break though at the same time if, if you ask for it <laughs> you said to jake earlier it, it's lit a fire on you kind of is it seeing what your your brother has achieved and kind of obviously as, as a fan, as his brother, as a teammate, as a crewmate, like you've shared so much with him, seeing Finton achieve the ultimate, you, you, you probably want that now as well, don't you? Oh yeah, without a doubt, like, yeah, I said it was just like a, something, just a light bulb literally like last night watching it, it's just, that's where you want to be, you know, like you put in so much work and so much of your time and like that's kind of the pinnacle, like even just seeing how much it inspires everyone and yeah. the support you get, you know, it's it's kind of like su such a motivating factor as well, like the draw, like the effect it has on people and the nation, you know, and yeah. that like, that's a huge thing, huge motivating thing and undoing it for everyone as well, you know. Yeah. Mm. And Sue, 
um, after the race. So when did you hear from Fintan? What sort of form is he in? Um, we heard from him this morning, very briefly, didn't, didn't we? we? At three o'clock in the morning, yeah. Oh yeah, he was yeah, he was yeah, yeah. doing the drug test. Well, he was, he was just he about to go in, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Um, and um, he showed us his medal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> didn't he? Yeah. He, he just went. <laughs> <laughs> he was quite. He wasn't overly. Yeah. I, I guess he was, he was. I think he was excited about the food and being able to, yeah. <laughs> to, to eat. eat. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I saw an interview with Paul, and he was saying he was looking forward to get into the dining hall yeah. because he hadn't been in there all week. So yeah. 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 the lads were going for a big feed. After yeah. I think they, yeah, I think they were estimating five hours from what Finn said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were going to be in there for yeah, five, five hours. Five hours yeah. Eight, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And over the last couple of days, has like obviously Finn is in contact. Has he been giving me an insight into what life in the Olympic village is like? Is, is the WhatsApp group mm. kind of in, in overdrive? No, not really. He's been very measured and focused on the job at hand. Really, um, there's been little insights which are very you know um we'd never have thought about how things are in this the way the rooms are built and the general day-to-day yeah. stuff yeah, there was a few room tours yeah yeah, yeah. Sure, it, it, it was also yeah we haven't heard a word from it <laughs> <laughs> Jack, 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 Jack. Knows more than but i yeah. have to say um yeah yeah he's, sh- he's shown us bits and pieces but then i've been following tara hanlon's um she, she's been doing it here we are here yeah. and oh, that's yeah, been yeah. thank you to, thank you to Tara because <laughs> that was very informative yeah. <laughs> she, did, she did a brilliant takeover on Instagram she, yeah. she did year, so. yeah it was it, yeah that yeah. gave us the best insight mm-hmm. she gave us a peek behind the curtains yeah. but so the, the outpouring and Jay touched it earlier of support for all the skid rows gone over like it's been incredible even yeah. down the town uh, now, yeah. it's yeah. just you can feel, there's a lift in the town yeah. 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 have you felt that support from the whole community yeah yeah it's it's been mm. incredible yeah. um and That's you know true. we've been the last two weeks been going around going oh there's another flag oh there's another yeah, yeah. it's been amazing mm. and um i was doing i was did my stint in the pop-up skibbereen mm-hmm. club pop-up shop uh, last week and i was just staggered by the amount of people that were just coming in buying something to to put money towards the club and support yeah. the club and i don't know how many times they've been out of stock and yeah. uh, and we're still kind of reordering and reordering and um yeah we, we can't walk two minutes down the road without someone stopping us again and it's yeah. just Im- amazing amazing yeah. and, and that's all been going back to finn um in you know small data packets we haven't overloaded him with stuff but the pictures from the flags and the support and the bunting yeah. like he's had a yeah, regular he's... stream and it really has made a difference yeah. to him yeah. um, he's been he... certainly moved by it and touched yeah, by it yeah. Um, yeah. yeah so it, it has been amazing hasn't yeah. it yeah. for the Cacolette as well called oh. outside earlier this morning as well and he was in tears as well so you know, that was just so wholesome as well that, yeah. yeah you know catching up with him and seeing how much it uh, like I said before how much it, it yeah. inspires people you know and yeah. And how much you know it it means to them, you know. Have you been surprised how emotional this all has been for for everyone? Like, there's been a huge outpour of emotion because we know that the lads have invested so much in this journey and they've climbed the Everest, and everyone is so happy for them. And it's as well as being a very special moment. It's a very emotional moment yeah. for everyone as well. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We were all in tears last night um, ourselves personally, and yeah. you know the the texts and WhatsApp support that have come in from all over the place to our phones. They're all sharing the same. Uh, kind of feeling mm. it's an yeah. emotional feeling it's not you know it's, quite it's over- warm that's yeah, what I would it say is warm, it's, a warm... it's quite overwhelming when you realise yeah. that other people who may not even be close to Finn mm-hmm. are feeling those emotions yeah. as well yeah. that something is incredible something transcendent definitely about yeah. the achievement that's yeah. shared by everybody yeah it's quite mm. mind blowing yeah. yeah it's been an incredible, yeah. incredible couple of days I need a final word to Jake what are you going to say to Finton when he comes home and he walks into this house with that Olympic medal and he puts it on the kitchen table there and he says, Jake, look what I have. What are you going to say to that? No, I've already said, I've already said, look, told him to stay humble, you know, and, and uh, <laughs> don't let it go um, yeah, I'll, I'll have a little look at it. All right. But, um, no, obviously like I'm delighted for him and so proud of him. And I was just saying like, can't wait to have him back now. Yeah. It's been yeah. so long and you know, it's just, yeah. Can't wait for him to come home. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much for allowing us into your house and congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much.